Stocking up your stockpile can easily drain your grocery budget if you're not super careful. Fortunately for you, the best foods to stock up on are super cheap to buy. We're talking about 25 budget foods to stock up on, and there's lots of reasons to stock up. It might be emergency preparation. You might just be someone that wants some food security with these crazy uncertain times, inflation, possible food shortages, supply chain issues. You might be the person that's a prepper, prepping for SHTF, or maybe simply you found a great deal and you wanna stock up on it, so you have extra on hand. One thing to remember, when stocking up food, it may not always be the food that you normally eat. Because the idea of stocking up food and having food stocked up is that it's there when you need it, right? So with that, it's not a bad idea to have some items that you wouldn't normally buy. Because we're talking about in the case of an emergency, in the case of you going jobless, maybe you have to deal with a major weather event or a world crisis that could even be worse. We're talking about canned vegetables, canned sauces, jarred foods, items that'll be there for when you need it, unlike fresh foods that will go bad if you don't preserve it. Another thing to remember, you at least wanna have food grade buckets. Food grade, it is a cheap and easy way to properly store your food. If you use the wrong buckets, stuff, bad stuff, could leach into your food without you even knowing it. So for those of you that aren't familiar with those or need some help finding them, I'll leave a link in the description below for some good food grade buckets with spin on lids and great seals. Otherwise, you can easily find these food grade buckets at home improvement stores. With that, let's get you this 25 budget food list for you to prep and stockpile. Welcome back to all of our subscribers and thank you for watching. If you're brand new here, like news that affects you, emergency preparedness tips and how to's, prepping videos, be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Nothing like getting help with your prepping list for stocking up your stockpiles, right? Maybe you just wanna add some items to your prepper pantry or you're interested in food security just to give you a peace of mind. Whether you're new at this or been prepping for a while, not many people will turn down a great list to help cut down your grocery bill. So you could be a newbie or a veteran just double checking your list. And if that's you, let me know how many items out of the 25 you already had. And please feel free to add any tips, any extra items in the comments below. Extra information for our community is always appreciated. Let's go. Number one is rice. It is super cheap and very shelf stable. That's right, this means you can stock up on it without many worries. Those worries of it going bad and you don't have to spend a lot of extra cash to stock up on this. And it's very easy to store in food grade buckets. Number two is sugar. As sugar isn't as popular, it is great in a survival situation, making it another fantastic budget item. With sugar, you'll notice that the price seems to fluctuate. It fluctuates year around. The best time to purchase this is around major holidays when people are doing a lot of baking as stores will be stocked up on it and will run sales. Which brings me to number three, flour, another baking item. While some will say flour isn't the best for your health, it's not gonna matter when you're trying to feed your family as that shouldn't be your major concern. You can buy this product in bulk which will cut down on costs. You can freeze each bag to kill off anything that may have gotten in during shipment and store those bags either in your freezer or your large food grade buckets with a lid. Number four is pasta. Pasta will always be cheap, so stock up on your favorite kinds, usually less than a dollar a pound. And remember, pasta will store almost forever if you store it correctly. Number five is pasta sauces to go with that pasta. A lot of times, just like pasta, jarred sauces are great to have on hand and are usually fairly cheap to buy. So with that, grab a couple jars of your favorite brands and just store them in the pantry like you normally would. Number six, a prepping staple is canned vegetables. I'm talking about usually under a buck for a can. One of those stockpile favorites that you can often find on sale and pick up a few here and there. And if you're worried about the salt content in some of them, just give them a quick rinse before you cook them up. And while we're talking about canned foods, canned fruit. A lot like canned vegetables, it's another budget food to stockpile. So keep an eye out for sales and buy them when they're on sale. Number eight is butter. The interesting thing about butter is you can freeze it almost year round. Again, stock up on butter around the holidays. You'll find it much cheaper. Get it around those holidays before the price jumps back up. Number nine, basic spices. We're talking about the basic spices like pepper and garlic. Keep them in an airtight container and they will last a long time. A lot of times, 
prepping food will be bland. You're gonna wanna find those spices to spice up that bland food. Number 10 is eggs. I know you guys think I'm crazy. You're like, eggs don't last that long. You can pickle eggs and make them shelf stable for up to a year. And if you've been watching us for a while, you know that we have a video on showing you how to water glass eggs for a very long time. Farmers and homesteaders were the best at knowing how to make that circle of life with food happen and be available year round. Again, if you can't find those people selling farm fresh eggs that haven't been washed, you can pickle them also, buy them around the holidays, they're much cheaper. Number 11, cream cheese. Cream cheese is another one that can be bought cheap when it's frozen, making it a great budget food to stockpile. But one thing to remember, once you freeze it, it's not gonna taste exactly the same for that bagel spread. It'll be best used for cooking, also found on sale around holidays. Bringing us to number 12, bread. Not everyone knows this, but bread is an item that you can freeze. So buy those loaves of bread when they're on sale and stick them in the freezer and pull them out, defrost them when you need them. Number 13 is cereal. Next time that cereal goes on sale, buy a bunch of boxes because if you keep it in the regular packaging, it can last easily up to six months. Making cereal one of those budget items you can stockpile because you can take advantage of a sale and stock up for a minimum of six months. Number 14 is baking soda and baking powder. Not too many dishes can be baked up without at least one of these two ingredients. So when you have the opportunity to add it to one of your grocery lists, buy it then and then keep it in an airtight container. Having multiple containers on hand is also key because you can use it for cleaning as well. Number 15, and I've mentioned it before, one of my favorites, popcorn. Popcorn can be stored for a very long time in its original container, as it's not like a staple of staying alive, but it is a comfort food and kids love to eat popcorn and it's very easy to store long term. Also, you can buy it for under a dollar a pound. Watch for those sales. What comes in at number 16 is granola and granola bars. Seal it in individual bags or loose granola and leave prepackaged bars in their original packaging because granola will last a solid year with correct storing. Number 17 is saltine crackers, or just crackers. Crackers can often be a super budget food. And if you're wanting to store them longer than three months, you can also freeze crackers. Number 18 is oatmeal and oats. It comes in as a budget prepping item because you can find it on sale at least a couple times a year. You gotta watch for those sales, store it in an airtight container, and it'll last quite a while. Number 19 is meat, canned meat. Now I personally think this is a huge one because you can get a lot of protein out of canned meat. And we're talking about chicken or tuna, always very affordable and you can find them on sale often. And oftentimes you can make a variety of meals with them. Be sure not to pick the cans that are dented and they will easily last a minimum of five years. Number 20, a very good one is canned soup and canned stews. Now if you're worried about the sodium, just strain out a lot of the liquids and add water and then use those spices that I earlier talked about. Any canned foods you can often find on sale, making them great budget items that last a very long time. Number 21 is like Kraft dinners, macaroni cheese, boxed meals like that, as it may not be the healthiest option out there. When you guys need like a quick fix, a fast meal, you can easily make it with water or powdered milk, making it a great quick meal for stockpiling for emergencies is milk and in both forms milk fluctuates in price a lot so if you notice that your store has it on sale stock up on it you can freeze your milk just make sure you pour a little bit off the top that way it doesn't expand and that goes for powdered milk having powdered milk is super key for a prepper pantry for any prepper out there or someone that's stocking up their stockpile stored correctly lasts a very long time number 23 is tea Find the ones that go on sale. They rotate. A lot of times, teas stored correctly, airtight containers will last well over a year, especially if you buy the tea bags. 24 is juices. A lot of times you can find this in a budget mindset when it's back to school sales. Juices, especially apple juice, you'll find go on sale. Stock up on those juices when they're on sale and stock up enough for a year. It's gonna help you fight that inflation and it's also gonna buy you a year's worth of time until it goes on sale again. Number 25, a daily staple for many people, coffee. Coffee stores extremely well. And while not the cheapest item, it goes on sale often. So when you find those sales, 
take advantage and stock up while it's less and leave them in their originally vacuum sealed packaging for longer shelf life. And remember, those bags are often mylar bags that you can wash, clean, and reseal. Bonus. Remember, Sam's Club, Walmart, Costco, lots of stores out there have a program that you can sign up. Be sure to sign up and take advantage of those rewards cards. A lot of times they come with extra discounts. Don't forget to add to the community and leave your two cents down below in the comments. Please share this video. There's a lot of newbies out there that need all the help they can get. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.